Welcome to Photometric Power Tools, software designed to assist manufacturers with batch editing photometric files to stay abreast with changes in LED and electronic technologies. Let's open up some IES files. You can open LDTs too. Grab this folder and everything underneath. That's all the subfolders. 612 files loaded, none with errors. The two dialog interface for the photometric power tools is designed to run on two monitors to maximize what you can see. It's a lot of data you're dealing with. Photometric power tools opens with the file viewer and editor. This is simply a handy place to browse the loaded files, make small changes if you like, and serve as a control point for saving and monitoring your changed files. But the file functions dialog is actually where we do the heavy lifting. Here we can factor files, edit keywords globally, round candela, fold in existing multipliers, convert photometric types, examine a ton of data from the IES files, and catalog common calculated metrics. Wow, that's a mouthful. Let's first peek at factoring files. I select issue date and loomcat as the keywords I want to include. They've loaded up all our data, all 612 files. Imagine we need to add a lumen multiplier of 2% to all of these files. Done. And how about a watts factor of 1%? Done. Let's change the issue date to today's date. Apply to all, and we are now completely finished. Let's apply the changes. Look at that. 612 files modified. Full disclosure, 612 files with those changes took about a minute maybe a little less, 40 seconds. Save them however it works best for you. We can overwrite the existing files, or we can actually create the entire folder structure somewhere else. Yep, the entire folder structure. Let's take a look at that again. What if I wanted to create clones of each file? We'll create two clones for each file. Look what we can do now. Now we can apply those factors to the clones. Apply to all same clone number. 2% to clone number one. Three percent to clone number two. Let's do the same thing for watts. Now suppose we want to rename our files. We can use the handy smart file name capability built into Power Tools. Set that up from System Settings. I have it set up to use the LoomCat keyword currently but you can actually add selectable file data, calculated metrics, or other keywords, and some general text if you like. Just build the string. Let's see how it works. Apply smart file name to the same clone number. Let's do it again to the second set of clones. This works great, provided your LoomCat keywords are all up to date. What else can we do in here? We can actually convert a file from absolute to relative photometry. Not necessarily something you might want to do, but certainly possible. We can also convert type C photometry to type B if you're interested in some floodlight metrics. So do you want to get your files in ship shape with keywords? We can do that with the global keyword editor. There's an instance of every keyword that's in all 612 files. Want to change your manufac keyword? Done. All 612 files. Look at that. Because we have clones too, we actually have 1,836 files that we've modified. Crazy. Simon says, add a keyword. Let's look at the Candela Modifications tab. We could actually round our Candela down to a certain number of decimals. Typically whole Candela numbers are best. We can also fold our existing multipliers right into the Candela values before you factor again. Convert C to B, B to C, in batch. We've done that elsewhere too. Let's pop over to Keywords, Data, and Calculated Metrics. Let's take a look at Units, Width, Length, Height. And let's come over here and grab IES Class, Bug, and Lumens Up. And how about that issue date? Okay, with all our data loaded, let's sort by bug value. How about let's see how many have a B1U0. There we go. What about these B4s? There's all our B4s. Similarly, we can search by IES class. Look for all the VSs. There they are. You can export all this data to Excel as well. 
Here's one that came up recently. I need to validate the luminous dimensions for my files. Is everything in feet? There's a ton of things that you can do here. Wow, tremendous. We've been playing for a little over five minutes, and we changed 612 files. Actually, several times. And that is the power of organized editing. Holy luminar lumens, Batman. It's photometric power tools. Pow.